Hello, Internet. Hello. Okay, so usually on this channel we show you a new game, show you how to play it, and maybe a gameplay video. Today's a bit of a departure from that. We're going to show you a new edition of Monopoly. So, Monopoly has been distributed in over 200 countries, and there's just countless editions. But this one is specific here to Japan. This is the Japanese traditional arts and crafts edition, or called the Jipangu. So this is a special one because it's made by a company called Nakagawa Masuchichi Shoten and they are celebrating their 300th anniversary and to do that this is one of the ways they're going to celebrate it. Okay, so in this version of Monopoly they have changed all the properties so instead of properties you're fighting for monopolies on traditional arts and crafts. So for example over here you are fighting for Tosawashi, Imabori Tauru, Denim and you're just trying to get monopolies on those. Otherwise, the gameplay remains the same. You're going to build houses and hotels, but of course not houses, but shops. So look at that. And then after shops, you're going to upgrade them to department stores. Everything remains the same. You know, you pay rent, but not really rent. You're buying items and, you know, you're collecting money and getting your uh, income tax and all that cool stuff. Also getting thrown in jail. And getting thrown in jail, which is a very important part of Monopoly. Aside from that, they've also changed the chance and community chest to future chance and Jipangu cards, which... Um, I will note are written in English as are all the property cards so you know you could play this easily if you don't speak Japanese so they do have the translations on there okay and if you can see here on the board this is called the Asanoha pattern right here usually seen on traditional arts and crafts as a was it on towel designs Towels, cloths, cushions um, dishes yeah all that stuff and this just a very nice little Japanese style pattern and you can see here it forms a nice little map of Japan and Jipangu is actually what Marco Polo called Japan you know. back in the day yeah back in the day which Wednesday all right and of course the other change is the money we don't use dollars we use Rio and in traditional fare of course it's made with paper yeah. okay aside from that this is a special as I said this is a special edition made by the company they're only making 5,000 of them and you can get them in two different flavors. You can get the 5,400 yen edition, which is which comes with what you see here, along with this little lovely player pieces of deer, like that. All deer in different colors. You know, there's a pink one. There's a lovely white one. Comes with dice, of course. But that's the, the green one. You want the green one? All right, here you go. Yay. All right. So you're probably wondering why deer. Deer in Japan are sacred an sacred animals, so that's why they are deer. The other version of Monopoly comes with lovely handmade, hand-painted pieces. <clears throat> this is the 9,000 yen edition, and that's the one we have. As you can see here, the 9,000 yen edition does still come with the deer, so we have that here. And my wife is going to show you the lovely handmade, hand-painted pieces. And it comes in a separate box. Okay, so the uh, premium edition of the Monopoly game comes with a set of six special pieces. Um, I'm gonna guess that they're handmade, but they're pretty fragile, and they're made of wood. Okay, so as you can see here, they're quite colorful compared to the individual deer. Okay? Deer again. Right. Here's another deer. Okay, mm -hmm. and of course these um, these figures are all based on traditional toys from Japan. This one is based on uh, a figure from Nara. Okay, this is a rabbit. Okay, and it's pounding mochi. This is uh, based on a Meiji uh, restoration period toy from Chiba. Um, that's a weird little boar. Okay, this one's actually from Hyogo Prefecture. That's near Kobe. Mm -hmm. <coughs> They've got this odd-looking pinata horse. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one's actually from Iwate Prefecture. That's near Chiba. Okay, we've actually got this whale thing. This whale on a cart which is also, incidentally, featured on the board. Mm, these are the railroads. <laughs> Carts with wheels, toys with wheels. Yeah. Um, this one's actually from Kochi Prefecture. Okay, and finally, we've got a Maneki Neko here, which is one of the staple images of Japan, a lucky cat. Uh, this originated in Aichi Prefecture, according to the materials that came with this set. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to the special goods created for the Monopoly game, um, it also mentions on the back that th these toys, these little models, can be found in a gacha machine that can be found at their shops. Um, one of these extra ones would cost 400 yen. Because we purchased it through them directly, they gave us a bonus one, which was probably random. So 
So this here, it, which can also be used as an additional player piece for guessing, uh, is from Ehime Prefecture in Shikoku. It's kind of scary. It's near where the whale goes. It's around here. Yeah. Anyway, um, these pieces are very beautiful, a little bit fragile, but they make the game a little bit more colorful and interesting. Mm -hmm. And it really goes with the theme, the tr Japanese Traditional Arts and Crafts Edition, because you would see your player pieces around the board, like this whale thing here. Anyway, um, that is actually it for the Monopoly Edition. This is uh, a bit rare, but we are actually on the... This is the third wave of printing, so we kind of got into this a little late. We pre-ordered this in February and received it, what, about... Two, three days ago. Two, three days ago. And uh, people who own the first and second wave printings of this are already... Are, some of them are selling them on eBay, so you can probably find copies of those. If you do want more information, of course, I will put up a link. So click on the I in the top right corner, or you can always check in the description below. Why are you doing this? <laughs> I want Boardwalk. Everyone wants Boardwalk. And today, Boardwalk is Nishijin Textile. Ooh, probably that's like that really gorgeous fabric, isn't it? That they yeah. make kimonos out of? I think so. Anyway, uh, if you want to know more about that, I'm going to put a link on that. Otherwise, any questions, comments, concerns, please let us know in the comments below. Um, if you have any, if you want to know more about this or if you have any questions for us, of course, let us know there. I'll try to answer as best as we can. Okay. Um, aside from that, anything else? No, nope, that's it for me. Thanks, guys. All right. And for me, no money and free parking. Okay, bye.